Welcome to my lecture online. Here we're going to show you a second method in which we can calculate the line current, for example IA, in a delta Y circuit. So what we're going to do this time, we're going to take our, our source, which is in a delta formation, and do a delta to Y conversion. So instead of having this, we end up with this. So here we have what we would call the line voltages, and we're going to convert that to the phase voltages, the equivalent phase voltage, and we know the relationship is such that VAB, the line voltage, is going to be equal to the square root of 3 times the phase voltage with a 30 degree phase difference. If we're going to graphically show that, you can see that there would be the line voltage, there's the phase voltage, so this is V phase, this is V line, we know that V line has a larger magnitude, square root of 3 times the magnitude of the phase voltage, and a positive phase difference of plus 30 degrees. So we can see that relationship right here, but then if we convert that and solve for V, v sub An, which is the phase voltage, it's 1 over the square root of 3 times the line voltage with a phase difference of minus 30 degrees. We have a minus 30 degrees phase difference for the phase voltage relative to the line voltage. And that's what we end up when we do the delta to Y conversion. So now what we can do is we can connect the neutral of the source to the neutral of the load since the load is also in a, in a Y configuration. And then if we take the top portion of that, we can see, so we take the top portion of this and the top portion of that, we can then have an equivalent circuit that just has the voltage here, VAN, and the load from A to N on the load part of the circuit. And then we realize that IA, the line current, is going to be equal to the voltage here divided by the impedance there, the voltage AN, which is the phase voltage, divided by the load impedance. Of course, that's the equivalent phase voltage. And so then we realize that VAN can be then, then be replaced by this quantity right here. So that's equal to 1 over the square root of 3 times VAB with a phase angle of minus 30 degrees. And then we take that and we say that this is now the phase voltage of the original circuit. We have now a phase angle difference of minus 30 degrees that came from this. We have 1 over the square root of 3 and the impedance, and we end up with the exact same equation for the line current in a delta to Y circuit. And so just like before, using Kirchhoff's rules, here using an equivalent circuit, we can come up with the very same line current for a delta Y circuit. And that is how it's done.